We're waking up to the first wave of full self-driving version 14 releases, and it is so exciting. I just got off a live stream from Canada FSD. Devin, awesome channel. Check them out. I'll link them down below. But you can see version 14 release notes are now finally here. Here's the thing. One of the biggest things that I saw from Devin's live stream just a couple minutes ago is the fact that they've removed speed offset entirely. That means that you can no longer control your speed just simply by using the right scroll wheel. That is now disabled. It does absolutely nothing. Instead, I want you to take a look at this screenshot here. FSD supervised is now going to determine the appropriate speed based on a mix of driver profile, speed limit, and surrounding traffic. So again, Canada FSD live stream just a couple of minutes ago completely confirmed and validated that full self-driving is no longer leveraging offset speed settings, none of that. Instead, they've actually introduced a new speed profile by the name of Sloth, and this is going to hit near and dear to your hearts. I know a lot of my viewers complain about FSD having just um, excessive lane change behavior. You can see with the Sloth profile, this comes with lower speeds and more conservative lane selection than chill. So what this means is that you're still able to take advantage of the slow uh, decision making that chill provides us, but it seems as if Sloth is now going to provide us with better, more intuitive, more conservative lane selections. And to me, what that means is we'll have to test this out on the road and out in the field, of course. But what this means to me in theory, just by reading it, is, of course, it's going to determine and educate itself on better lane choices when it comes down to lanes that might be ending. It's going to do a lot less lane maneuvering, which is something, again, that you guys have complained about a lot. You Also, we have a couple different arrival options. Options. This is super exciting. You can see now you can set how FSD is going to take you to your destination. And when it gets to your destination, it's going to finally have the ability to park itself in parking lots, street parking, driveway. You can configure that now. If you look at this screenshot here, you can select an arrival option such as parking lot, street, driveway, parking garage, and curbside for robo taxi style drop-offs. I love that verbiage. I love that they've added that into V14 marketing, into the release notes. That's not the first time I've seen robo taxi style uh, verbiage used in release notes for full self-driving 14. So I love that they're incorporating that. Your preferences for arrival options and preferred parking positions are persisted for each destination. Our reasoning model will assess the suitable options for your destination. So this is super, super exciting. Again, I want to test this out in the field. I would like to see how full self-driving version 14 is actually going to be able to drop itself off in a parking lot. Let's say uh, you no longer, you may no longer have to use pins on the map. With 13.2.9, if you ever wanted to park, you kind of had to put that pin on your navigation map so that in reality it would park itself. Uh, hopefully it would park itself using the pin that that wasn't always the case. So we'll see how this functionality actually works. They've also introduced some UI improvements, which I think is really, really cool. By the way, again, uh, shout out to Devin Canada FSD. I'll link his channel down below. I was looking at his live stream. You no longer have to press and hold the blue button to start FSD. All you have to do is tap it. He demoed it. This was again, 30 minutes ago, 60 minutes ago. All you got to do is just press that button once and it takes off. You no longer have to press and hold. I assume that they've removed the brake confirm. I'm not sure about that, but the button itself looks different. This is what the button now looks like in the UI. And again, you don't have to press and hold this anymore. You just tap it. Now, a lot of people think like, okay, what's the big deal there? It's just a user experience. It is more autonomous now it feels as if it's ready to go it's robo taxi feel you just press it once like you would a regular phone screen and it's just off like you don't have to press and hold it anymore that's super exciting so a lot of ui changes happening ai driver has posted on x just about an hour and a half ago or two hours ago fsd supervised hands-free mode so now fsd 14 officially calls it hands-free mode again taking that leap towards robo taxi taking that leap to more and more autonomous experience um, ashok himself from the tesla ai team 
had posted. This came out, let's see when this came out, October 7th, 7.02 a.m., so just over two hours ago, FSD 14.1, the first in the V14 series, has officially started rolling out to customers. Many follow-up releases with significant improvements are in the works. These should ship through the rest of the year. So again, FSD 14.1, is hitting the early, early access group, the, the the influencers, the people that are a part of the initial waves historically. If you think about 13.2.2, I think it was, or 13.2.1, I remember there was a very small cluster of people that received it. It seems like this, those same people are now receiving 14.1. So that's super exciting. Tesla is now posting about 14.1. Highlights include arrival options. You can select where FSD supervised should park at the end of your trip. Driver, driver profile sloth, which is that new uh, profile. This one's huge because, again, as a content creator, I stay near and dear to my comment section. I read all of your, your complaints about FSD today, what you would like to see improved. And so by by them introducing this sloth profile this is huge because it seems like they are they are giving fsd the option to choose lanes a lot better more educated uh, more human like a lot less wishy-washy when it comes to those like unnatural lane choices especially with lanes ending things like that so again i'm as a content creator i i read about all of your wish list items on full self-driving and so i think that this this one was huge and i'm really really excited that they introduced that sawyer merit posted on x this was three o'clock in the morning so three o'clock in the morning he had mentioned that his model y is receiving 14.1 right now a uh, whole mars catalog posted a video i think he in the video, he mentioned that he was recording around 2.30 a.m. Pacific time out in California, and it just released on a YouTube, so go check that out. Chuck Cook is also joining the uh, the wagon here. Uh, 6.36 a.m. October 7th, he posted that he's waking up in Jacksonville to FSD 14.1, um, and it sounds like they made their deadline. Yep, they sure did. Nothing on his Cybertruck yet, just the AI4 Model Y. I want you to pay attention to this screenshot from Chuck Cook. So brake confirm for start self-driving button is now defaulted off. When disabled, start self-driving will not require you to press and release the brake to confirm engagement. You can enable brake confirm in autopilot. So that means that the brake confirm functionality is indeed still present, but they've defaulted that in the off position as opposed to 13 that was on by default. So they now introduced that as an off by default setting. So this screenshot right here is showing that start self-driving button is changed as far as like the actual UI, but the experience of pressing and holding it is awesome too. Like you don't have to do that anymore. You just press it once, tap it and you're off. So lots of awesome things happening right now with 14. Again, stay up to date with my channel. I will be receiving it hopefully, hopefully very soon. And once I do, I'm going to go straight out into the field. So if you haven't yet subscribed, consider hitting that subscribe button down below as I start receiving more and more information, content. And then of course, once I receive 14, I'm going straight out into the field to test it and bring that content to you guys. So happy version 14 day. I appreciate you tuning in. I'll catch you guys in the next one.